Hey girly pups, you bitches are home from France and we're fucking tired. And um, we got back at 4 a.m. last night. You will have already seen the France vlog. Um, so I just thought I would have vlogged. So I haven't really had a birthday yet. And I spent my actual birthday having a mental breakdown most of the day. So I thought, so really now it's up to Dan to make this the next few days my birthday. Well, I'm at work tomorrow, so I've Wait, already which? sailed there. Um, Doesn't surprise me. Mm. Lack of effort as always. Oh yeah. Lack of effort. The lack of effort from always. people, honestly. You know, like, I don't know if anyone else is like this, guys, but, like, you, how you would make an effort for someone else, they never make effort for you. I don't, and, like, it's just different. Wow. Like, no. We're no. Really going in this morning. No, 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 don't, no. I'm just saying, like, as a girl, like, you want balloons, you want this, you want that, but, and you would do it for your boyfriend, but they would never think to do it for you. I'm not shading you, it's just facts. Yeah. That's all, and it's sad. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we got back at four o'clock last this morning, and I woke up. I woke up at nine, and then I woke up at eleven, and I did not feel well rested. Let me tell you that. Um, it was a long travel day yesterday, wasn't it? It was very long. But um, I, we would definitely recommend Nice. It's very pretty. I, I want to. I can't wait to go back. And I feel like we. I almost want to go back for a week and go like for a couple of days in Kent, yeah. a couple, couple of days in Saint Tropez, yeah. like, and do like almost like a little road trip of the south, south of France because yeah. Nice is absolutely stunning, isn't it? And like I feel like not until you come here and you look at the this shit hole, you think, God, that's beautiful. I, I genuinely cannot believe how like safe it felt as well. Yeah, like, like I like. It was like to be fair. There was like soldiers just walking around with guns on shirts. Yeah. So that, that Even a, when you were on the beach, like yeah. you, they were looking out for you. Yeah, they were just looking over the beach and really making sure hard. everything was okay. It just, it was <sighs> clean. Like, whereas if you go to Paris, Paris is like. Par but, but if, no, world. But, yeah, but it, you've got to remember Paris is a city and it's people's work, it's a different vibe. You don't go mm. there to go on holiday. You yeah. can go there to explore, but you, your people are on the rush there. It's the first time I've been to anywhere other than Paris, like, Paris or, or Disneyland in France, and Nice is. I would say it's a di I would say if you wanted to go on holiday, like holiday, holiday, yeah. don't go to Paris. Yeah. Paris is like giving city, it's giving rush. Yeah, it's a break, Whereas isn't Nice, it? everyone was in bikinis. Everyone oh, was walking so around. so chill as well. Everyone like, was walking in swimwear. Like everyone was eating late. Like if, if you wanna, if you wanna go for food, you've got to plan like at least two hours for it. Yeah, because now yeah. you don't rush giving it you and like, no, you have a coffee after, like, yeah. it's just so chill, It's isn't so it? chill, it's, it, it's incredible. We, um, like, we are quite, I think, being British, we eat early, like, we, like, the first night, we were there eating at, like, six o'clock. And, and we everything like, we do, we want to do it, like, we're constantly we're rush. rushing around for it. But then, like, something happened on Saturday that forced us to slow down. Not Saturday, I keep thinking my birthday was Saturday on Wednesday. And we didn't go out to eat till like half ten. And it was so nice. It was lovely. It was really nice. It was a, it was a proper strange little trip, wasn't it? It was, but it was it was a special trip to us. Yeah. Um and we're grateful to be home, but we're grateful for the experience. Um and also I'm proud that I went on the flight because at one point I didn't want to go on the way back. Oh my god, you were absolutely brilliant on the way home. And the way that well, the way there, but after Wednesday's breakdown and all the stuff that happened on the Wednesday, to get on the plane um, last night, you, you did really well. I didn't even cry on the plane, guys. Well, on the way I had a few tears, but I think I was more around it the first time, wasn't I? Yeah. Like I was struggling. Yeah. And like, I've really learned a lot about myself this weekend, how much my anxiety affects me. Like my eating, my outlook on life, my like everything, the way I feel in my body, like it's wild. Um, anyway, so we won't go into that, but it's raining, we're home, and I thought I would just vlog the next couple of days until the next weekly vlog. We're on for Friday, and I'm gonna vlog till Sunday for you guys. Um, I don't know what the hell we're getting up to this weekend. 
Well, I will get I will get you with me. Look at Dan's tan, doesn't he look brown? I had fake tan on and I did catch a bit of the tan, but nothing like bloody the Bahamas boy over it. <laughs> He's got a lovely colour. Like the difference between our faces in the camera is fucking wild. I'll tell you what though, it, Where are we it, going for a coffee? Uh Starbucks. Okay. It's hard not to get a tan there. It yeah. That like everybody was really tanned. Everyone was tanned. If I'd have like sit and baked from the first day, I would have had a colour. Yeah. But like I struggle to sit in it, don't I? Yeah, you you get a bit fidgety. I like, I'd rather just put a fake tan on an SPF. Like I'm just a bit more of a, a safety freak. But I did get a little bit of tan like, while we we're in the water. If, if you spent two weeks or a week there, you, just on a holiday, you would come back a, a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Yeah. You'd be dark. And you wouldn't even have to sit in the sun and just bake yourself because it was just such a nice heat. Like, I'm not walking around, do not walk around there. That, that's the only thing I would say. Like, we didn't, we explored a bit, but we couldn't explore too much because of the heat. Like, you step outside and the water from us. Was I like... felt like I was the only, Mia was sweating a bit, but me, I was wet. I don't constantly. know how you did pass out from dehydration, to be Co honest. Like, constantly wet. The amount of looks that people would give me, like, He's a he mess. looks fucking awful. He's a mess. What is wrong with that bloke there? Um, but it, it was a beautiful place. So if you get the chance, um, Monte Carlo's stunning. Yeah, that that is just like a picture. Monte Carlo is beautiful. I'd have loved to go to Cannes, love to go to Saint Tropez, but that's something for the future we will definitely do. Um, yeah, France. France is a, a, a crazy country because literally, like an hour away from where we were, we we would have been in Italy. Yeah. And then we could have gone to Switzerland. Like yeah. it'd be such a cool road trip to it do would. that. And I said to Dan, like, I think we need to like try and get on a flight a couple, at least a couple times a year, just to keep this. Even if it's literally a day trip, I don't care. Like just to keep the fear yeah. at bay. Because I think once you're like don't like doing something, like the longer you don't do it for, the worse it feels. Yeah, definitely. Whereas like if less than six months we get on another flight, I'm like, oh, right, I'll remember. No, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Definitely. Um, and also, Wizz Air were a lovely airline to fly with. Yeah, they were class. Like, we had a few delays, I'm not going to lie, but which was nothing out of their control. Like, it was air, it was traffic, air traffic control. It, they, th there was a girl behind me on the way, and she was having a panic attack. Like, she would just lost it when, when we, she sat down, which is totally understandable. Because, obviously, it's normal to be no nervous at flying. And they were so good. They were like, we're not taking off of you like this. Come to the pilot. And she was like, I think she's a bit embarrassed. They were like, come and see the pilot now. Like, you will feel better. And they took her in. She and went then into like, the cockpit. Yeah, and, and she she looked better when she come out. And then she had a... Um, she, halfway through, the pilot come out and had a chat to her and brought her up like a water and a cookie, which I thought was absolutely lovely. Yeah. Um, and they were, we had no issues. Like, I'd never heard of Wizz Airlines before working with them. They were really nice. Not one bad experience at all. No. <laughs> no, they were, they were, they were brilliant. Bless you. And I'm not paid to say that on here at all. I would tell you guys, but I, I really enjoyed flying with them. Like I would fly with them again. Happy, happy days. You hear about so much shit from like Ryanair and people like companies like that. And to be fair, there was like meant to be shit. There you was, heard yeah. about Wizz Air, but I think I think and it's the planes just... were be like brand yeah, they new. Were brand they were, new they were like there wasn't a speck of dust on the floor no. or in the toilets. Like there was, whereas like I've been on a few flights before where I've been like this is grim, like like a Ryanair flight. Um, but regardless, like they are budget airlines, and if they get you there and back safely, that's all you can ask for. Like I don't, I don't think you should pick apart an airline. Especially on a short haul flight. It's like everyone should, everyone's going to have a bad experience once in their life. Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah, of it, course. It's just, it, it's only normal. But yeah, I just wanted to say that. We're going to get a coffee, we're going to go and see my nan, and I can have some presents today. I'm so excited. Um, we'll also go food shopping with you this weekend. We want to um, start making some like put a bit more effort into our food so we will make a nice fun little list with you and yes would you get me a bottle of water as well yeah what are you having uh can i have a caramel matte blonde yeah thank you so much i would go in but i got my slippers in do use my starbucks card the screenshot oh yeah or do you want me to resend it yeah i think we'll all right it was so nice to see the doggies yesterday honestly 
Rayleigh literally fist on the floor. They were so excited. Um, they just couldn't sleep. Like when we got in at four, because they were just like, "Mom, you're here!" <laughs> and they're obviously dad. Um, but I got such a bad blister on my foot, and I had such bad trouble while I was there. Like the heat, and like when you're wearing dresses, obviously in your thighs, like it's all bruised. It's so sore. So it feels so nice to have joggers on. Um, but yeah, I feel like. I've come away from that trip in a completely different headspace, which is really nice. Like I feel like myself again, um, and I'm really, really grateful for going. And I'm grateful to be home in my little house. And it feels really good. Oh, I had some flowers from Jeremy and Mel, which were really, really nice. And they also got me a neon candle and some neon hand cream. And I just had some flowers from Dan's parents, which were really, really sweet. Um, so yeah. I love flowers, they'll brighten up the house. We need to do a big reset, I just can't be bothered. Um, we've unpacked a little bit, just need to like put everything away, but I think I'm gonna start that tomorrow. And yes, we're gonna go for breakfast at my nanny Sue's and I am so excited, I'm so hungry guys, honestly. We've secured the goods, oh, I'm so excited to try this. <laughs> Giving basic bitch energy and I'm here for it. Mm. Yummy. Hello, I'm back and I've got two parcels so I thought I would open them with you. I've got no idea what either are. Oh, I know what this is actually. This is from TikTok shop. They're two new glasses. A video opening this because it says if it's broken they won't refund you unless there's proof so I'm just gonna put my camera there just in case these are broke. Glasses for the kitchen. They're really cute. I don't know how big they're gonna be or anything that oh I think they're quite small. They are so cute. Cool, aren't they? They've got graph glass straws. There's one. And two of them are not smashed. Yay! I've got I'll link them on my TikTok shop guys. Um I don't know where I put them, just put the straws. Oh here. They're really cute. Let's just stop that recording. And I don't know what the other one is from every to be honest. And then they just come with two straws. They'll be nice for an iced coffee. They'll be nice for, I don't know, like a drink, fizzy drink, a whatever. And then I don't know what this one is either. I, our plan is just to chill really for the rest of the day. My nan and dad's are coming over. What bloody hell is this? Oh, it's from Garnier. It must be a PR parcel. Garnier body superfood. Whoa. How do we open it? No way, does it light up? I think it's meant to light up, I think the lights are broke. They go to so much effort with their PR parcels. It's their 48 hour Nutri Glow Cream. That's so cute. Ooh. Oh, Dan. Yeah, wait, come and sniff this. That smells incredible. This is it. 
Oh, this will be incredible on our sunburnt skin. I need it. How nice is that? <laughs> Let's have a try. Oh, it feels nice. We liked their aloe vera one though, didn't we? We did. Why are you laughing? Look how brown you are compared to me. Look at my brown boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> but the, and it's got vitamin C, which is obviously perfect for summer. So, hydrate skin up to 10 layers deep. Fast absorption, I'd completely agree. It's literally, like, it, it feels dewy, but it's not tacky, is it? <laughs> what, what have I got for my birthday then? Come on, tell us. Well, there's something in the living room already for you. I'm a bag. Yeah, obvs. Uh, you had running trainers. There's an early one, because you're a runner now. I'm a runner, I'm a trap star. <laughs> we're gonna run away when I get home. We're going to have a run on Sunday, I think, aren't we? Yeah, first run back. Yeah, another 5k smashed. That'll be it. It's going to be rough out there. But Glenis has got all of my presents for you. So. It's my birthday, my name. I'm going to do like a big what I got for my birthday when I've got everything. Um, but I didn't really ask for that much for my birthday, you did didn't. I? And you like, didn't. my mum, I said, don't get me anything. So like, I really did mean it and I put across that I didn't want anything for my birthday, really. So. I'm not expecting literally anything apart from um, a couple of things, so yeah, which I don't want anything, I'd rather just have people's company and time to be honest. I love presents, but I'd rather people, I feel like as I'm old, getting older, I'd rather people not waste their money, like, like not, especially if they don't have it, so yeah. That's all from me for a bit. Um, Dan's mum bought me these beautiful flowers and they've already started to come out. Oh, they were. Since this morning, oh, no. Well, it said that they, they were dead this morning. It said that they were sleeping and they needed to wake up, <laughs> they, and they, it, they were like, out, "Yeah, they? they've got, they're going to be stunning when all these open." They are, to be fair, aren't they? Yeah, we're going to text her now and say thank you. So, which is really nice. And I'm surprised Jamie and Mel's are still okay. Still okay, yeah. Which are really pretty. I love flowers. I feel like you really appreciate them as you get older. But I just need to make sure this doesn't go anywhere near the dogs. It's poisonous. It's important, yeah. So we'll keep them right at the back. And it stains as well. I'm yeah, it does stain. Um, and we've got a little happiness scented candle and a hand cream from Mel and Jamie too, which smells stunning. I'm going to have a nice bath later. I'm going to scrub all my body. I'm going to um, moisturise. I'm going to shave. I'm going to put some hair mask in. Yeah. I, need, I did ask, the only thing I did ask for, which I don't know if, we'll have, if I will get, I asked for a exfoliator from Dermalogica. So... It hopefully, maybe someone's got that, if not I'll order it and um, because my skin feels really tight and I've got a lot of little spots <clears throat> as you can see because I think I, I think my anxiety, this is a lot of anxiety because I haven't been very, I've been really stressed the last few days the last few months last few months, I think it's really come out of my skin but I've been researching into different teas that help your hormones and like help your acne what are you laughing at? the dogs? they're fast to see I don't think they need a walk today. They They're exhausted, they've been on a holiday. Um, so I think I'm going to, oh, what's that? Oh, it's the mango cream. None Do of you like the glasses? Yeah, they're cool. None of the stuff in the suitcase needs washing. No, that's all to go upstairs. That's why I put it all together. Um, so we're just gonna have a little reset day. So I'll pick you up probably. I need to brush my hair because it's fucking disgusting. I thought someone was at the door then. <sighs> we're gonna have a little clean of probably the kitchen. We're gonna do a big fat food shop. We're gonna order one tonight, I think. We're just gonna like restock all the cupboards with some yummy, healthy, nutritious meals. And if you've got any idea on any meal ideas, any yummy food you like to eat, we just wanna like, we just slipped our standards a little bit with like cooking. So we wanna try and start making some yummy meals and stuff again. And like just stuff that's fueling fuel our body. Like still enjoy food, but just, we would just wanna try and focus on putting some good stuff into our body because we got a little bit lazy with it 
and that's fine I feel like everybody goes through top like that you just have no motivation with food and stuff but like I feel like as we get like getting older we realize what a food what an effect food has on your body literally is your fuel so i think it's just important like for us it's just we want to start just putting oh my god what? it's stained all the silicon bright yellow what that the flower yeah okay i can cut the silicon off can you yeah i think a bit of bleach should get it off but it's bright yellow yes yeah, okay, oh okay i got a bit worried <laughs> um so yeah so that's our plan over the weekend i want to tidy the house and stuff and Dan's at work tomorrow, so today I'm just going to look a homeless rat, so that's all from me. Rolling! What are they? Who are they from? Don't you know? No. Oh, from my mum? Oh, they're lovely. <laughs> they're beautiful, aren't they? They smell lovely. She's never smelled mum like that before. Isn't she? No. <laughs> Very pretty though, vlog is already just not what I wanted it to be. I wanted to open a vlog opening my presents of yesterday which is where I cut you off and I received some news that I wasn't sure how to process so the vlog ended abruptly and last night I just didn't have it in me to vlog um, and then this morning I was like right let's start fresh, let's like video getting at making a coffee blah 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 and there was no coffee pods and yeah that is just how it feels like right now um honestly this is probably one of the worst birthdays i have ever had <laughs> and i don't know why um but chapter four 24 can only get better hi um i'm just getting ready and my birthday present from my nan is um gonna be a ring so she's gonna pick me up the weather is honestly atrocious so I have not had a coffee yet and I am sad I think I'm gonna go and I don't think I can go without one to be honest with you being honest um I feel exhausted I thought I would get home and like just crash and like have like one really big sleep but that has not been the case i've been waking up consistently like through the night and i just feel like i have such a broken sleep hello rolo um i just trying to open any lip balm which oh, i just feel so shattered if i'm honest with you um so i'm just trying to get ready because my skin gosh it's bad i don't know if it was the sun cream the su the, like the stress, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look good, it does not look good. So I'm just putting some mascara on, I thought I can't go out looking like I did, so I'm just going to try and make myself look a little bit better. Um, I can hear licking. Ready, Polo? No licking. Today is going to be a big fat tracksuit kind of day and I'm going to slip my hair back I think I'm still going to go swimming later um and just do some gentle exercise and then we were going to run 5k in the morning but I'm just going to see how my back is because my back is really hurting me I don't know if it's the like difference in beds or what it is but it's really sore but 
I feel like there hasn't been too much positivity yet so let's have some gratitude what are we grateful for I'm grateful for all of my cards presents happy birthday messages that I've received I'm grateful for my health I'm grateful for getting back from holiday safely I'm grateful for my house I'm grateful for having food food what <laughs> food on my table I'm grateful for my support network I'm really grateful for just another day to be alive and I'm so grateful for my dogs and Dan like my little family I'm so grateful for them I literally don't know what I would do without Dan and the dogs they're my everything so yeah, I'm also uh, grateful to see my best friend next week. Obviously we've both been holiday, so we can have a big catch up. And that will be really nice. I'm really excited to see Jode. And yeah, look at my hair. I haven't, it hasn't been touched since I went in the sea on Thursday. And obviously it's now Saturday. I've brushed it, I've brushed it, just not um, done anything with it. Because I was going to buy a hair mask at the airport and put that in, but did I find a, 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 what's it, a hair mask in Nice? No, I did not. So my hair feels absolutely shit, to be honest. So I'm going to go swimming, put a hair mask in, and then maybe wash, wash it out. I don't know when. I could do with ordering a blonde shampoo. Um, because my hairdresser said you need to start using one every time you wash your hair so I need to get one of those I'm just watching McKenna's vlog but my MacBook's gonna die any minute to be fair my hair isn't as lucky as I thought it would be I charged all my batteries last night so I could take you with I could take you with me today um, also, I saw this thing on TikTok that McDonald's coffee doesn't have caffeine in. What is that about? How? Why did I'm confused. Why doesn't it have caffeine? Can somebody answer me? What? What? <laughs> what? I was really confused by that. Um, makeup will do. Really poly, stop licking. So I'm literally just gonna curl my eyelashes and brush my teeth yet, hence why I haven't put any lipstick on. And my room is such a mess, I've got so much unpacking to do. Come on. Things happen for a reason, hey? Positive vibes. Positive vibes. We've got this. I don't know where my deodorant is. <laughs> I hate that, you know when you haven't unpacked and like you just don't know where anything is. <laughs> I just wanna cry. What should we wear today? I don't think I wanna wear shorts. I'm actually so pale still, bless me. <laughs> I'm not very tanned. I've got like a tiny bit of colour, but realistically, what is that? I've, we're just gonna drop a tracksuit on, aren't we? Let's be real. I think a big grey tracksuit and some sliders. Actually, I don't know if I'll put sliders on because my blister is so sore on my foot. I also didn't have a bath last night and I really just want to have a nice big bath, shave my legs and just like feel like a clean dolphin and I'll probably fake tan in a couple of days. Let's put the hair back. My little boobs are poking out of this top. That's how soft the material is. Like, you know it's soft when your boobs look coney in it. <laughs> I'm dreading reset. It. Like, starting tidying, to be honest. Actually makes me feel a bit sick. <laughs> I didn't know whether to put a cap on. We're here now. Let's just put the... My hair like isn't that greasy, I really struggle to put it in a bun. Oh, it's a bit 
poke in it. Fuck you! Hair done. Let's put some little earrings in. I could do with just maybe putting a moose in. Just to ensure no popping out. I think I'm just going to put my little Majora earrings in. You got those red eyes. I feel like I did make you look a little more put together. And then later we'll do a haul of what I got for my birthday. The only ones that won't be in here is what Joe gets me because I'm not going to see her till the weekly vlog. So that'll be in the weekly vlog. But apart from that, I will show you a haul of all my presents that I've been really, really lucky to receive. Um, so yeah. I'm also going to my mum's next weekend um, because it's her birthday on the Saturday and hopefully the weather's nice we're going to have a barbecue which will be really nice this is such a good hairspray it's so strong, I wonder what they put in hairspray to make it so strong I don't really know, I'm just going to pop some rescue remedy also I think this helped with my anxiety so much, so much. Like I can't tell you how much I calmed down after having it. Like I was, I didn't realise it at the time because I was in a bit of a state. But Dan was like, Mira, it calmed you down so much. And like when I thought about it, I was realised I did feel a lot calmer after taking it. Um, so yeah i do really recommend it i'm gonna buy another one i've literally finished the whole bottle while i've been away okay right Look, i'm gonna find a fit and i'll be back hello guys we've just pulled into stafford i've been chauffeured here by nanny and Daz, which has been nice and we're just parking it is quarter past 12 and we're gonna get a coffee and then we're gonna go and have a look at the ring um, and I also got a free treat from um, Costa, so Daz is excited about that because I haven't had any breakfast yet, so yeah. I said he could have it. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd check in and say, hello, Glenys is at the car already, she's off, she's putting the wind mirror in. Um, so I'll catch up with you when we're in Costa. Um, yeah, please could I get a large hazelnut latte? Sit in the uh, Sitting in, please. And then an iced vanilla latte. Medium, please. Yeah. And then can we get a chocolate tiffin, please? Thank you. Um, no, thank you. Thank you. Air card, please. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you so much. Super drug. Nanny wants what do you want? Um the silver. Non non -prim. Something for your hair. Yeah. So we're just gonna have a little look around. I've never seen this one before. I like the packaging. Studio London. What? Cool guys, look at these by Super Drug. Body gel. I think I'm gonna try this one. Because I have texture on my eyes. Put a, a colour in Sean Boost. That's the one you've got on something like that, isn't it? It's that one. It's like little silver turn in a hair. Um, Want that one then, would it? That's platinum. Yeah, I've got a tickle in my throat. I found awful. Don't know that I feel guilty now. I'm like, uh -huh. it is pretty, isn't it? Entirely up to you. Do you like it or not? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I haven't got it, but you. No, but I do like it. It's pretty. Yeah, it's nice. It, it, it's, it's all right, is it? Because you, you lost the one you say. Oh, right, right, okay. <laughs> so I want to match Is it coming off? <laughs> <laughs> I do really like it. Is it the same as the one? The one of... <coughs> I'm trying to say where my phone is. Is that all right? I don't mind. I like your nails. Uh, they're all that grown now. I know, but they look lovely. I like the two colours. The I saw it on Pinterest and I went on holiday and I was like, I've got to have yeah, them for the holiday. <laughs> Thank you. Do you like it? 
do like this one. Okay, we're back in the car. Daz is just picking the radio station for the way back and I wanted to vlog because basically you guys always ask um, about my playlist and it is just my username on Spotify but a lot of my music, old, old one, comes from Daz. So I will find his <laughs> username and you guys can follow his playlist because it's that it's really good. His work one is, so you guys can follow it. <laughs> um, and then the like more newer stuff but still old. Oh, he's like nanny. Oh, you just sent me some money, thank you. Um, but we got the ring, and it wasn't actually the one we thought we were gonna get. We um, ordered one in from F Hines because I lost one of my, I lost a ring from my nan um, on a wedding day last year, and I wanted something like similar. So we were looking at infinity rings. However, we couldn't. I, I just didn't like it. It looked a little bit cheap. It wasn't cheap, but it looked it. Um, so I ended up going with a different one that we saw last time from was it from Warren James and it was really nice so thank you to both of you and Daz is just picking the radio station uh, yeah. um, for the way home and it's got some classics <laughs> on so yes so I'll catch up with you when I am home here's Nanny in the back she lets me sit in the front because she's a backseat driver so if she can't see what goes on she's quieter <laughs> 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 but yeah I'll catch up with you when I'm back and I'll show you the ring um, because it's really really nice and when I've got tan on it will look really really pretty so yeah I'll show you when I'm back hello I'm jumping in with the birthday haul I've put all my presents in this bag so let's go okay this is no particular order I'm literally just pulling presents out of the bag like how I put them in so no particular order first things first so excited about this my nan my nanny sue bought me the udi dressing gown and i've been eyeing this up for so long it is so look at this it's giving like jerf avenue sort of vibes it's really soft really cool it's got a hood it's really slouchy and it's also got these the same sort of like udi sleeves and i'm so excited to try this on and wear it it is literally so cute so i got that which i'm obsessed with and then she also bought me to match the um udi microfiber towel i don't really know how it works i need to have a little look um because i can i'm not really sure how it all like tags together to on the head but yeah and it feels really really nice then got two of these, one from Dan, one from my nan, because they know how much I love it. I love the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Bonds. They both bought me the big one, and it just comes with a um, it comes with a little flannel and the collagen balm. Um, I've took this one out. It is downstairs. These, along with some flowers, are from my management. This is a neon neon a happiness scented candle and then the uplifting hand cream i haven't actually smelled this one so let's have a little smell oh it smells like like orange and mint mm, that feels really nice i love neon things they're so thick i actually worked with neon last year and i was obsessed with all of their things like i bought my nan the same stuff that i got gifted and she loved it so yes i also got a pair of trainers let me find the other one it's in here somewhere dan actually bought me some superstars because i really love sambas but i also really love superstars like i've always loved them and i really want to start wearing things that i really love whether that in fashion not in fashion like just things that i love and i love these i really really like them so i've got some superstars and yeah obsessed with them so thank you dan he knew i wanted these and they're almost like a cream they're like a little bit off-white and i absolutely love them my nan then bought me this is my nanny glennis bought me the carolina herrera good girl blush you guys know how much i love this so much and she bought me a new one because i needed a top up and yeah obsessed some more teasers my friend stacy got me these um to be honest with you i will eat most chocolate but dan is obsessed with these so i can imagine dan having a lot more than me of those i then got a silk pillowcase i've been saying for a while that i want to start using a silk pillowcase and my nan bought me one i think it's from marks and spencers and 
yeah, it's from Marks and Spencer's and it's just a pillowcase standard. It's one and it's a pure silk one. So like that, which I'm excited to start using. I then got some Adenola goodies. Um, you guys know I love Adenola and these are from Dan. He bought me the long sleeved blue one, the midnight blue one, because I've got the leggings and I've got the short sleeve and I wear it a lot. And I really like navy on myself. So he bought me the long sleeve one because I don't know. Because I love it. So I got that one. And then he got me the white one, which I'm going to wear today. But this is not this is more like a thicker, softer material, material, and it's in the colour white. Just a fitted long sleeve top. So it's like this. And Adelona is just such nice quality. And I love like the little detail of the branding and things. So he got me that. And then he got me this set. He got me, this is in the shade, I think, is it dark grey? Yeah, dark grey. I'll get all my Adenola stuff in a medium and some tops in a small, but this is all in a medium. Grey, um, short sleeve top. This is their ultimate range. And then he got me the matching leggings. And I just love this colour and I know I will get so, so much wear out of it. This is exciting, what is this? I got a new bag. Dan, I actually chose this myself. I really like the brand Coach and we have a Coach store in the outlet near us and I saw this and I just absolutely loved it. So Dan was like, do you want it for your birthday? And this will be my third Coach bag. I really, really like Coach. And you can have this as a shoulder bag or you can have it as a crossbody. This is personally too big for me to have a crossbody bag. Um, but yeah, I love it. So I will unwrap this and put it as, um, put it on my shoulder i love it and it'll fit so much in it's such a like decent size bag and it looks really cute on the shoulder i feel like it's just a real neutral it's like a bigger version of my louis loot bag and it'll fit a lot lot more in so obsessed with this from daniel thank you he also went me some running trainers um which i've used abused if you follow the weekly vlog so just wanted to mention that too he also bought me some adenola socks and off, he was like, I just threw these in at the end because I knew you would love them. And he's right, I love Adonola socks. They're a bit expensive from what they are, but they just look cool. This is a really special little present. It's from my nanny Glenis and Daz. And it is a ring. He also, obviously, they're, they're like a joint, so he got me the perfume too. Um, but I chose this ring and I'm obsessed with it. It is beautiful. I'm just trying to show you. It sparkles. This is the first time I'm putting it on since I bought it. I've got it on the wrong finger. Hang on. One second. I bought it to go on this finger here. I just think it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. It's gorgeous. And basically, story behind, I lost um, my nan's ring and, on her wedding day. And it made me really sad. And I just wanted something special, um, like a little keepsake from her. And I just love this so much. So, yeah, I can't wait to keep this forever. So thank you both of you. I then got a daily microfolian um, Dermalogica, which Dan, this is from Dan. He knows I love this and I treasure this microfolian. So got that and he did a restock. And then this is the other Eloise Cleansing Balm. My nan then got me uh, the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask, my nanny Sue, and oh, I can smell it through the plastic, it is so good. She bought me this, like, I don't know if it's last year or the year before, and I just loved it. So this is what it looks like, it's the intense one, and I love a hair mask if you follow me regularly, so got that. And then um, from my friend Stacey, she got me these four packs of um ball pens which are really cute you can always do new, no, more pens and this is a set of two notebook and one says focus on the good and one says think happy thoughts which i'm obsessed with and then this is my favorite it's got these identify cards so basically it's like a pack of cards and it has three topics on so it's identify they're like color coded hang on i'll tell you identify develop 
and harness. So I'll give you an example of each. So identify the first one is, think back to the last time you faced a situation like this. How did you deal with it then? And will, will that approach work now? It's like development cards. The development one is, let your curious curiosity surface. Are you trying to guide your intuition in one direction? Sit with yourself and let your mind run free. What are your mind and body trying to tell you? The green, like the harness one says, what is truly important, right? And what is truly important to you right now? Clarify the answers for what you really want in life. State them simply and clearly in your mind. Get to the root of what you want your, in, your intuition to tell you. And I think, is there one more at the back, a different? Oh, practice. When feeling lost, stop, find comfort in your intuition and let it guide you. Always remember to dis discern between intuition and wishful thinking. So it's like self-development cards and I really, really like things like this. And then this is so cool. This is the power of intuition. Trust your in inner wisdom. And basically in the book, it's basically like letting your inner self guide you. And it's like a full book full of basically how to do that and I'm obsessed with this I don't know where she got it from but I am obsessed with it I'm so excited so thank you so much for that it was very thoughtful she always gets me very personal gifts which is really nice um and I don't think I'm missing everything out from my mum I just asked for a bunch of flowers I don't want anything off my mum like she has given me so much in my 24 years of living like I was like do not buy anything I do not want anything from you I just want a bunch of flowers so mum bought me a bunch of, bunch of flowers and our birthdays are 10 days apart so I'm going to go down next weekend and spend some time with her and that means more to me than anything else so I don't think I've missed anything out but if I have then I'm grateful for all my presents and thank you to everyone who sent me birthday messages, who sent me a present, who sent me a card, who sent me anything. Um, my flowers are beautiful. I had a bunch of flowers from Dan's mum and stepdad and some money. I had a um, bunch of flowers from my mum and a bunch of flowers from my management. So yes, thank you so much to everyone who treated me on my birthday. It means so much to me, honestly. So exciting, isn't it? Hang on, let me put your brother's harness on. Let's put this on. Rolo, yours is next. <laughs> no, I know you're excited. Ah, ah, ah. Rolo, you're ready. Come here, Rob. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Got ya. You're a psychopath. You a naughty child. Ow! Right. How am I supposed to get you on a walk with your harness not on? <laughs> you have to Hang on! Where's your leg? Why is it in? <laughs> Ow! You're catching me! Bro! Why? There we go. Right. Right. Come here. Come here. Sit. 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 Good. <laughs> Come on then. Let's put you in the car. Let's open the boot. My did mum put the keys. Where are they at? Right. Come on, Ruff. Good boy. Ready? One, two, three, in you go. Hello angels. So I am back. I've been back like 20 minutes or so. Um, and I didn't really know. I've got a lot to do, but I didn't know what order to do it in. And to be honest, the dogs didn't go a walk yesterday because they were shattered after being on their little holiday with my nan. My nan walked them um, while we were away because um, they stayed with her and Bella. But I don't know. Um, no, I don't know. I felt like I just want, needed to walk them. Like, I felt bad that they hadn't been today. It's honestly torrential rain. And I don't have a coat, so I'm just going to brave it. I'd rather the dogs have had some fresh air and had some fun. I just know that they're going to need a shower. When we get back, they're going to be soaking. So I'm just on the way to walk the doggies. And then we can do a haul of what I got for my birthday. I'm thinking of having a bath. 
I was gonna go swimming, but I don't feel very good if I'm being honest. Like I just feel really drained. Like the thought of swimming like 70 lengths makes me wanna be sick. So I think I'm just gonna get on top so I might even go food shopping later tonight because who's going food shopping on a Saturday night? Surely not many people. So I might do, go and do a Sainsbury shop tonight. And yeah, I might go and do that. Aw, couple kissing on the bench. <laughs> How romantic in the rain. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I feel a little bit frazzled, so I think it'll be, do me good to get some fresh air in a way. So I'm gonna do that, but I just wanted to check in. So you'll have a birthday haul ASAP Rocky. I'm just gonna sort my sort myself out, sort the doggies out so they're happy, and then I think I might leave the cleaning for tomorrow. I've got some work to do as well, so I think I'm going to do that. So I will catch up with you on the walk. It's really heavy, the rain. <laughs> I'm not excited. When you have 17, you have a dress. We're caught in a trap. Hopefully it won't be very busy. I'm really hungry. I had that sausage sandwich this morning. Well, when we went to... Oh, there's no cars. When we went to... Where did we go? When we went to Costa, but I haven't had anything with my name. I don't know if... Okay, perfect. We're always going to go wild. I'm so sorry if you don't like dogs barking. <laughs> we on our first walk back together, babies. Right? So we're not ready for the engine. Oh, 
Right, Roy, you're next. Step Roy out. Uh, uh, you're still shampooed, Roy. No, really first. Go. Good boy. Come on, Roy. No. <laughs> Roy, wait there. Hang on, we're nearly there. Just got to wash you off. Good boy. Your eyes are okay. Good boy. Oh, nearly there, sweetheart. Wash your leg in. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Good boy, bro. Look, ET. Hang on, he's just getting dry, bro. Good boy, nearly there. Wash your legs. Stop it. No. Right, go out, bro. Come on. so please ignore the mess but I'm gonna go and get changed into a clip I've no words I'm gonna go and get changed into a clean track so tidy up this mess and we'll go for the chopping hello I'm just sat on the floor I've just put a wash on and separated the washes into like whites and colours and I'm just gonna write a shopping list but I thought I would show you what I got today from um what are you doing you wet boys put the heating on for an hour just to i've got so much clothes to wash but what do you want sweetheart the dogs have gone wild you excited you cold um i thought i would um show you what i got from super Drip while we were out I picked up this hair mask because it says for frizzy hair and my hair is a bit frizzy after holiday and um, my nan actually bought me the Moroccan oil hair mask but I don't want to wear that use that every time because it is expensive and it's so nice and um, so this is the coconut and macadamia nut I haven't actually have I I feel like I've had them all but they were all 3 99 they were all on sale so this is the one I think I've used them all um, and then I picked up this which is so interesting they all, had all different ones i showed you in there but this is more like i have like very bumpy arms and this is a body gel so i don't know if you wash it off it says morning or evening use daily so i think you literally just like rub on the texture um so oh it smells nice so i think i'm just going to put it on my textured bits of my body like i have like really like 
plug no they're not plug plugs. I don't know what it's called it's called something I saw someone with it and they said like glycolic acid like just like an acid to help break down um the marks in your arms so I picked up that it's called me plus by Superdrug. this is the refined one they had loads of different ones and then uh, we got three for two so my nan's one's up there but I saw Molly Neville, if you know who um, she is, um, she put this mascara on um, and it. she said like she's used tubes one. She always looks stunning, like her eyes are beautiful. So I thought I would just give it a try because I'm always on the hunt for like an OG mascara. So it's this Volume Million Lashes um, mascara and then I just picked up my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in Latte. And it was, sorry the dogs are going crazy. So it was three for two, so my nan picked up a mascara too. Um, and that's all I got and then my rings in here but I'll show you properly when I show you my presents it is what time is it I've just um I just voice noted that whole thing into my voice note what I was speaking to you because <laughs> I just went to make the shopping list right let's get rid of that so yes, that's the super drug haul. And now I'm gonna write a list. So I know three meals we're gonna have. We're gonna have a gyros, we're gonna have sorry I'm wet through if you can see the nips. Um and we're gonna have gyros bowls, we wanna make some acai bowls, make our own chicken burgers, and we're gonna have creamy pasta. That's all I've got to go off right now, so I'm gonna try and make some sort of list before I go, so I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hello, I'm on the way to Sainsbury's. I've wrote myself a big fat list and I think I've got the four or five meals on there. So, oh, I hate this one. Thank you, no problem. I can't really go anywhere. You shouldn't have been driving so fast, sorry. No problem, I'll wait. Hate when people say, don't say thank you, it really pisses me off. Okay, I'll just run into your car then, then you won't be saying thank you, will you? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so, going to Sainsbury's, I've got a big list. Off the top of my head, we're going to have, I've already read this out, didn't I? What I was thinking I was going to have, so I won't bore you. But we're going to Sainsbury's and my nan and dad are going to meet me there, which is nice, so I'm not going to be completely lonely. Um, and I might buy a blender while I'm there. So it's gonna be an expensive food shop, but it needs to be done. And I've also been doing some research, like my skin is the worst it's been in a long time. I don't know what quite it is, but it's not good. So I've um, been getting some, sorry, my phone was ringing. Um, I have been doing some research on like different teas and stuff that can help your skin and like inflammation. And I think it's just, I've, ne I've just been going through a really rough time at the moment so my it's just showing in my body I think in all sorts of different ways so yeah on, onwards and upwards with positivity though hey everything happens for a reason so I'm gonna go and try and get just get a nice nutritious food shop and get myself some nice little also I tried dates for the first time when I was on holiday and um, Dan bought some as a pre-workout just with some rice cakes and they were so yummy I didn't even know they had a stone in like it's so like weird I'd never had them before they're like a big fat raisiny like I don't know they were really yummy though so I really enjoyed those I want to buy some acai and try and make some like yummy acai bowls I'm gonna try and start forcing myself to eat some eggs and just some like different stuff for brekkie um, just like try and put more effort into my food because uh, I just feel I don't I've never made too much effort with food like I find it quite boring um, like cooking and stuff like that but I just want to start trying to put a little bit more effort into it and making some more yummy stuff and you know um, so yeah because I've got so much time that I'm so grateful for so I just need to use it a bit wiser like I've just put a bit more effort into food and maybe I'll enjoy it more then I really want to make some like protein pancakes and things like that. So we're gonna probably oh, we're gonna probably get a blender, and I've actually remembered bags too. So here's to a good vibe, ladies and gents. And um, we're gonna look into the settlement fee 
for if you watch the weekly vlogs um, for the car um, and see if it's what well, we can exchange it or like we would be negative equity or whatever um, for the car so we'll see what happens with that and I just can't believe it's the end of July already like it's absolutely wild and it doesn't feel like summer at all like I'm considering rebuying a <coughs> pair of books <coughs> that's how shit the weather is it's disgusting not a vibe so I will be I'm literally not far from Sainsbury's at all so I'll be back in a razzle dazzle let's go food shopping to get so I just thought I'd try it um, and hopefully it works. I don't know where to start. Do I put away as we go? I feel like that would be better won't it? Let's. I'm so sorry about the mess. I'm, I've got so much to sort out. I've recently cleaned the fridge like last week so let me just give it a little wipe over. Starting off I got some Purcell. These are really good. I've been chucking these in with like towels and stuff just for an extra bit of a wash. They're good for like stain removal. So I got those for the washing. I also got these which are on sale. They're like reusable ones because I usually, it's going to annoy me there's a couple of blue ones but let's put them in here. This is like less plastic and things which is obviously good. So let's rip that up. I'm gonna open the window, I'm a bit hot. Oh, it didn't rip the thingy off. That's not good, is it? I don't quite know how to. Oh no. Ah! I've got the gold. everywhere. Thank God I gave the dogs a trick. Um, I'm just going to get the hoover out in a sec. So I've got the gold orchid Lenore scent balls and these smell incredible and I just like putting these in the wash and I think they were like £7 or £5 for a big one and like it was like a £3 um, saving with the nectar card. I think the shop came to like 140 50 altogether. Um, 
But there was some good saving on the Nectar prices now. If you've got like a Nectar card, you can. It's a bit like Tesco Club card, which they've recently bought in. So that's a helpful thing that they've do. They've done. I've got some Yakult classic. I'm gonna get one out, and I'm gonna put them in here. Then we got some bleach, just got the Sainsbury's own one and um, clean the sink and things. I've got some more butter because we're going to run out. I just got the Sainsbury's own blur pack kind of dupe because I just don't want to pay £5 for butter. I then got some red potatoes and um, my nan said these are nicer so I got those. And then I got two packs of these. These were on next to price too. I think they were like 280 or something. The French vanilla pods. And I've had these before and they're quite nice. So let's get them. Whatever you do, don't buy the Tesco finest vanilla caps. They're vile. They taste like literal water. I'm being clumsy today, aren't I? My phone's ringing. biscuits in your bag oh you, you have to come around tomorrow then yeah right yeah oh yeah i'm just packing no, the shopping don't let like dad to no i won't i'll hide him he likes him he will he will i'm just packing the shopping away could you put them by me um me color of that for my hair it, it's here you uh your stuff was here ready to bring yeah yeah love you, love you. Love you. see you in a bit though Sorry, my name wrong me. Um, I don't know where I was, but I got these two teas. I got this turmeric active, turmeric ginger and orange, which is meant to be really good for hormonal acne. And then I also got this spearmint one, which is like an after dinner digest. Spearmint, apple, brew, rubios and biobob. Um, so they're the two teas I got, which I'm gonna try. So, I, got, I just put spinach in and sugar snap peas, tender stem asparagus and broccoli. I've got some Greek yoghurt, just starting to be his own natural yoghurt. Sorry, my phone was ringing. Um, I also got some breadcrumbs because we're going to make our own like chicken burgers. I've got some mayonnaise. I don't really like the taste of the light mayonnaise, so I just got normal. I don't have it that often. I then got some, I wanted rigatoni, but this is the only pasta I could find. Conchi ball for like a cream. I didn't get cream. That's one thing I forgot. It's okay, I can get that, it's no problem. Um, that's another bag empty. And then I got wheat bisques. So I want to make some like overnight wheat bix So I've got Sainsbury's wheat bix I've got some cucumber. Well, that felt a bit wobbly then. Um, blueberries, Greek flatbreads for gyros, a bag of carrots because I just find them yummy. I've got a punnet of strawberries, these were on like um, Audi price. I've got some zats tzatziki for the I call it tzatziki, but I think it's like zat. I don't know. Um, but I got some of that anyway. Got some halloumi for the gyros. I got one red onion and then two packs of air dried with Cornish sea salt ham. Uh, that's another bag done. I then got. Some bread, I've got the seeded one, I really really love this, my mum used to give it me, so. Um, I then got some um, brioche buns, I've got two red peppers, I picked up some, a pack of salt vinegar crisps for Dan's lunches and I will no doubt have some. I've got some tomatoes, I've got some apple juice because I want to make some like smoothies and some acai bowls. And I've heard these are really good to pop in. I got some of these smoothies. They were on such a good offer. Um, there's 10 inside. 
and there's literally just fruit there's no added sugar there's literally nothing in there so i'm just gonna put these in the fridge let's just line them up with that i then got some frozen fruit i got this very berry smoothie mix and i'm gonna buy some acai off amazon Another bag. Done. I then got some Epsom salts because I'm making from head to toe for some reason, so they'll be good for the bath. I've got Rolo and Rory's kibble. I've got some kombuchas, lightly sparkling pomegranate, and these are just meant to be good for like a light. They're like brewed from green tea. And they've got like live cultures. It says. Live culture, sugar free, 8 calories, naturally caffeinated, raw run and pasteurised, vegan, dairy and gluten free and no nasties and it's lightly smart, sparking with um, pomegranate. So I just thought that would be nice for dinner, you know, when you just want a treat but it's like a bit healthier than having like a Dr Pepper. I just want to have something that's a bit kinder to my body. And then what else did we get? I've got some Radox muscle therapy for the bath and then i just picked up rollo and rory's dog meat right there the dogs are absolutely silent eating their treats have you seen this George's fat head and then i've got a big pack of chicken breasts Because I'm going to have chicken burgers. Dan will have chicken with his gyros. And then I'm thinking chicken pasta. I don't know if I've got enough. But we'll see. I, what? Where are we on now? Um, I got the Breville. Got some nectarines. I got some eggs. They said these are nice ones. They're like big ones. Is that it? God, where's £150 go? How? That is all I got from the shopping, so I'm just going to put another wash on. You've only got 10 minutes storage, and then I'm just going to clean up all the old food. What? <laughs> all the old food that we haven't eaten that needs to go in the bin. I'm just going to have a little pack of white in a clean. Um, the fridge still looks fucking empty, to be honest, and I'm a bit confused. But it is what it is. Um, so we should have enough food all for the week. And stuff like that so i'm just gonna have a little just sort myself out and i'll pick you up in a bit when we know what we're having to see it's saturday night so i don't know whether we're gonna have a little treat like it might be like a greek speaking of the devil he's just texted me excuse me beep beep dan has brought back a year off bowl for dinner right i don't think it's for you we're all sorry i think it's for me i got halloumi and dan got i think chicken and halloumi these are so good if you have a cuisine near you try to give us bowl they are so yummy <laughs>
good morning and happy Sunday from me. This is the best coffee I've had in a long time and I'm so happy to enjoy my coffee. I've got a little bit of caramel drizzle, what? <laughs> caramel drizzle, some morning vanilla syrup and the French vanilla pods. What have you got? You've always loved this, don't you, a baby? It's like a little catnip toy. Um, my plan this morning, honestly, I went back to sleep at 7 and I woke up at about 8, then 10. It's 20 past 10 now. And I've just decided I'm not rushing today. We're not rushing. So I'm going to have my coffee. I've been watching McKenna's vlog. And then I'm going to go and take the dogs a walk so they're done. And then I'm going to start on the house. And I think my nan and dad's are coming over at some point. Dan's at work again. And that is literally the plan of action so i'm just going to drink my coffee watch mckenna and then let's take the donkey to walk even all that absolutely stay with me i think i might tan tonight ready for the week and i might put a hair mask in again ready for the week and what maybe do hate heatless curls together tonight because i didn't do that last week so <laughs> Look at the state of me. <laughs> I've been cleaning for so long. What time is it? 16, 16. So, I've cleaned the kitchen. It looks so much better, I'll show you. It looks so tidy. The bathroom, the bathroom is tidy. The living room is tidy ignore the hoover and we've got the washing on but this is tidy and in here's tidy just some washing i've even lit the white company fireside candle that's how autumnal it feels my hair is just soaking in a hair mask and oil and i've got oil on my top and bleach on my trousers so that is a brew now i'm going to clean upstairs and I can't wait for a shower tonight. To tackle up here, I need to put that vacuum bag back under the sink. What? Under the bed. I need to tidy in here. And then, oh God, it gets so bad. Look. Look at this. Oh, I need help. <laughs> out of the shower and I don't look any fresher to look at I literally still look I don't know but I've washed my hair it feels well it will feel so much better um but I'm gonna leave it in this till I've had dinner and then we'll put some products in it I've just put some skincare on so I put my Zoe B skincare on I put my Grand No Lash serum on I put my Laneige lip mask on I haven't got any eye cream on or anything um, I'm gonna leave my spots because they're just doing their own thing um castor oil on my nails not castor oil cuticle oil I put some castor oil on my eyebrows and eyelashes and I'm all moisturised on the body I used the Hawaiian Tropic after sun just because my skin is still a little bit burnt in places from um when we went away so i'm just putting some after sun on and then i'm going to fake tan later i think i'm going to use this st marit one hour 
tan mixed with this Express Tanning Mousse um, Hello 30 Minute Glow by Isle of Paradise. And then for my face tan, I will use this Garnier Natural Bronzer. So we'll do that together later. I also would like to write myself a to-do list if I get time, but I also want to go to bed at a decent time and put, do my hair care, fake tan, and then I'd like to wash my brushes. If not, I'll do it in the morning, but I would like to do that tonight. I'm leaving them out to try and probe me to do it. Um, and yeah, so Dan's cooking tea. We're having steak, chips, and veg. Um, it's some, yeah, it's Sunday, what time is it? It's seven o'clock, so I'm gonna go and have my dinner. I'll show you when it's cooked. Um, I usually cook dinner, so it's nice for Dan to be cooking, but the house feels so much better when it's tidy. I hoovered up and down the stairs, hoovered up here. I'm gonna change the bed in the morning because obviously I'm fake tanning, so that's the only thing I need to do. But uh, only thing I need to do and do some washing, but because the weather's not been very good, I can't put it outside. Um so yeah but that is everything that i need to do apart from return some parcels i've just got and i've got a lot of editing to do because my video but i'm gonna get up early and edit my video tomorrow and yes so let's go and have some dinner and i'll be back up in a bit i has been had and i'm gonna do my hair care i really like that shampoo and conditioner one that i showed you um before my shower i really really like it I've literally just had my hair in my little hair turban. It's like brushing through really, really nicely. This is the last day of the vlog. Then I'll be weekly vlogging tomorrow. But it's just felt weird doing like a weekend vlog, you know? Oh, the dogs are fighting. Why did I know this would happen? Oi! Rolo and Rory! Stop it, please! If I'm being honest, I can't be bothered to wash my brushes, so I'm going to do it in the morning. So you'll see that in the weekly vlog. Hair products this week are going to be as followed. We're going to go heat protection spray by Markul. <laughs> I just felt it right one there. Oi! Stop it! Move, go on. I'm going to be good and put my stuff back as I use it. I'm going to next go in. Also, I do like to use a lot of products on my hair because I only wash it 7 to 10 days. Some people find, might find this too much. I personally don't. I'm also going to put this on. Dream Lotion Spray, um, Oil Infused Lotion Spray by Wella Deluxe. Frizz Control and Lightweight Nourishment. I worked with these on TikTok, but I genuinely love the products. And I would pay for them with my own money. They smell incredible. And like I just have noticed my hair being a lot shinier since I've started using them and the smell and they've also got uv protection in them so they actually help protect your hair from the sun which is so good i'm going to use the hair Pro hair proud glass hair shine activation i'm then going to go in with pre-styling serum i'm not going to use that one actually yeah I'm going to go in with the Colour Wow Dream Coat. This is literally nearly gone as well. They do look a super large one. My hairdresser had it when I um, when I went to have my hair done. I was like, whoa, that's big. Someone's outside. Um, and then I'm going to try this for the first time. This is the Bond Plex number six. I'm assuming it's like the Olaplex number six. I don't really know. So I'm just going to rub it together. And just run it through my hair. And then I'm um, to finish it all off, I'm going to put in the Wella Deluxe Rich Oil, just one pump. And just 
run that through and then I'm just gonna run the Dyson over my hair just to take the damp well like the sopping wet off it um, and then I'm gonna leave it damp and put the heatless curls in I need to watch a tutorial though right BRB. my Dyson's actually got a um, different head on it so I'm literally just being lazy <laughs> The Dyson is probably a bit quicker than the GHD. But I also love the Cloud9 stuff. I love all three brands, to be honest. I don't, like, I don't know. Hang on, there's like... Oh my god, what the hell has happened? <laughs> that frightened the life out of me. <laughs> I was really worried my wax melt was going to fall off then. I think it's just not my skincare. Um... I don't, you know, people have like real preferences between like GHD, Cloud9, like I love all of the brands, like I've got stuff from all of them, so I don't really have a preference. I've also got a turmeric, ginger and orange tea. Because I'm trying to help the inflammation of my skin, so let's dry. I'm so lazy with untangling wires. Do this bitches mm, mm. ignore the light it's awful so i believe we wrap around I don't know if this is right to be honest. <laughs> but I don't know when I start wrapping that. I hope this turns out okay. I think you just add a bit more each time. I don't really know if this is right. right I don't know but I suppose there's only one way to find out in the morning if it looks fucking crazy or not won't you tell me what the black man said we're just watching Gavin and Stacey we're on a Gavin and Stacey hype at the moment and we're here for it there's just not much better Um, so yeah, we've been watching Gavin and Stacey, but there's loads of stuff my mum's been telling me to watch. She's like the queen of giving us something to watch. Um, so I need to have a look at her list that she'll send me. Because um, we love like dramas and things like that, but we've just been like enjoying an easy vibe at the moment. Um... Let 
let me know what you guys are watching at the moment if you've got any recommendations also um if you've watched it what was traitors on Traitors. yeah was it bbc mm -hmm. well we were obsessed with traitors weren't we and they're bringing out another one so please go and watch it if you follow our podcast um it was my obsession when we were watching it and it's just so good i feel like i've got a bit lazy with this one i'm a bit confused i don't want to like have it to be too thick Do you know what I mean? So like it's one big strand. I feel like I've done it wrong, I don't really know. Feels a little bit loose. Because it's going to move in the night, isn't it? And then a lot of people said to like put it behind the head <laughs> and like cross them over. Oh no, there's a strand out. Oh, shit. Of course there is. <laughs> Won't you say what the white man does now? Do 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 do. This is right, guys. I don't understand how you do the shit. I don't know. Right, I'm going to move on to my tan. I feel like it's not very tight. That's the only thing. I don't know if to do them again. Okay. I don't know if this is right, but it is what it is. So I'm going to do my tan. I'm going to use the tans that I showed you earlier. I'm just going to put some tan on my face and I'm going to go and grab, um, I'm going to grab, what am I grabbing? The, moisturiser, one sec. Free wise man, just trying to have some fun. To be fair, the heatless curls did not take long. I thought they would take a lot longer than that. So I'm just going to moisturise the hands because we know the hands go dark and then I'm going to moisturise, put some extra moisturiser on my feet and I'm just going to slip my pyjama bottoms off. I've got like my wax melt, that's what like what a weird light it is. I'm then just going to put some on my knees because my knees absolutely love the tan. And then I'm going to put it it always gets caught on like the this bit of my arms like in by my armpits and then the elbows I feel like I should have done this tight I'm a bit worried about it falling out okay right this is the before and I'll show you the after hi it's me so this is the end of the vlog i hope you enjoyed angel bums i didn't show you an after but if you watch the weekly vlog you'll know what i look like after but i hope you enjoyed love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye